Hello Taurus, welcome to your soulmates and twin flames reading for this week. Let's go ahead and see what's upcoming for my Taurus with the soulmates and twin flames. So, all right, you've got a few cards here. We have privileged lady. Privileged lady could be either you or someone around you. This could be your energy. We also have family room. Family room is about the close knit group that you have around you. Like for instance, children, a spouse, if you have someone that is a partner or basically family, those nearest and dearest to you would fall under that category. This is for privileged lady. Now, if you're the masculine, this would be that the privileged lady is that close to you. If you're the privileged lady, this is someone that is that close to you that they fall under that category. And the next two cards are imprisonment and gift. So imprisonment indicates that someone is actually held back. It's like, I can't do anything about this situation because I'm held back by something that is out of their control. And we have gift. Gift usually means the act of giving and receiving. So this could be saying that both you and you know, the person that is very close to you, you're both held back mutually. This is the act of giving and receiving and imprisonment. It's like you're both held back. Alternatively, gift can also mean giving a gift, okay, or receiving a gift, like your person intends to give you something like a gift, something nice, something like a watch or a necklace or something that you can use and keep something that makes you feel good however we've got imprisonment here so it's like that stuck energy that you just can't move away from all right so let's decode this and see exactly what spirit is saying all right and i think i'll use my tarot for this spirit tell me about privileged lady here for my taurus Tell me about privileged lady for Taurus. What does Taurus need to know? We have judgment. Judgment is the cancer sign. It's also about a final decision. Perhaps the feminine, whether that's you or your person, has made a final decision about something. Alternatively, judgment is returning from the past. Something returning, like resurrecting from the past. Also, it could just mean a cancer sign is around you. Now tell me about family room for my Taurus. What does Taurus need to know? We've got Queen of Pentacles. Taurus, this is saying that you are endeavoring to master your finances in your home. That's basically what this is saying with this. It's like I'm working, maybe you're working from home or you've got a business from home or you're endeavoring to improve your home financially with resources um, and this could even be spirit's guidance look Taurus it's time now for you to focus on on this okay being in your element which means um, to endeavor to achieve um, mastery over your finances and your resources hmm okay because the king of pentacles means the achievement that you've you've done it you've uh, conquered it okay and the queen of pentacles is still striving she's still climbing that ladder to achieve and queen of pentacles is also a mother she also is someone that works very very hard and diligently um, as well as raising a family so she's kind of like that that mum that does everything that is the Queen of Pentacles energy. So I don't want you to feel that spirit saying you're not doing enough because spirit is acknowledging that this is actually what you're doing. Whether you're male or female, this is about that you are in this 
vibe right now that you are feeling that you are achieving and that you're doing the best that you can even if you don't have children around you that you're caring for it could very well be that you're you've got responsibilities you've got things that you need to do and you're striving to achieve that mastery of that so let's have a look why we've got imprisonment. I mean, it's kind of telling me already why you've got imprisonment. It's basically saying that the reason that you held back is because of the Queen of Pentacles energy. So I'm really curious about the judgment card and this imprisonment card now. Spirit, tell me about imprisonment for my Taurus. What do they need to know about imprisonment for Taurus this week with a soulmate and twin flame? What does Taurus need to know? We have Tower. There was an event. This is basically saying an event. This is an event that created like a sudden shift in energy now i don't want you to think that the tower is negative i i personally don't believe that the tower is something bad i believe that the tower is like a saving grace it's like the universe saying hang on a minute what are we doing here we're building upon something that is not meant to be a part of your journey this is not in your contract you you're not you didn't sign up for this why are you building this you know in your experience it's not meant to be there so the universe or god or your angels or your guides what you believe in is now removing this energy that you have built because it, it's not meant to be there and you're meant to be on a different journey a different path it's kind of like that moment where your guides reassess your gps system and says hang on a minute taurus you're on the wrong path let's put you back on the right path okay and this is why this happened okay whatever this was spirit created a roadblock in your life and in that person's life whoever this is and it's it's sort of rerouting you on a different journey and this is a gift okay and i feel that this is more than anything a gift from spirit okay unless this is a gift from someone else around you um, this is something that's going to be given in order to place you back on this path wow what a powerful reading i really enjoy it spirit tell me about the gift for my taurus what does taurus need to know about gift what is this the hermit the Hermit is about spending time in solace. It's about time of reflection, meditation, um, reconnecting with spirit, okay? Reconnecting with your high purpose. The Hermit carries the star in the lantern and this star indicates hope, indicates answered prayers, you know, making wishes and those wishes coming true as well as healing. It's a guiding light. It's that star that led the three wise men to, you know, Bethlehem. That's the star. It's all about guiding you somewhere where you're meant to be. Okay. And the key to that, I feel, is spending time in a reflection. Okay. And that is the gift. Spirit is giving you this opportunity to reroute your life. So let's go ahead and get some more cards for you, Taurus. Mm, I feel they're wrong. Okay, I'll use these. Spirit, what else would you like to say to my Taurus about their soulmate and twin flame? It's meant to be a romantic reading. Um, but it, Spirit is saying that perhaps the soulmate that is around you is not actually a true soulmate. Perhaps, and I feel a lot of you clicked off at that point, <laughs> um, that the soulmate that was around you may have been a soulmate in order to teach you something, to reroute you, okay? We have beautiful cards here, Divine Mother, which is really what I was saying about, you know, the Queen of Pentacles, um, really about being that carer, whether you are male or female, it is that 
caring nurturing energy you know even the empress can be masculine even though it's a feminine energy it can be just about that you've got things that you're caring for that you're nurturing that you're helping grow whether it's a business whether it's literal children whether it's someone that's pregnant or maybe you're pregnant you know it's about nurturing something and this is very much so the same meaning it's about nurturing something helping something to grow river of blessings this is very much this this energy here river of blessings something wonderful that's coming towards you taurus and idyllic times this is the garden and paradise so it's telling us that everything is in perfect timing it's perfectly orchestrated for your growth for your learning and to optimize the ultimate path for you you signed up for certain things in this lifetime it's on your soul contract your guys are trying to you know prod you along so that you continue going and growing and becoming more of what you're supposed to be what you're supposed to grow into and evolve as on this earth in this lifetime idyllic times is telling us that spirit may be asking you to spend some time in reflection to look at what is actually your goal where do you want to get to to reconnect with your purpose we have many different purposes while we're here on earth loss lack victimization and fear spirit is asking you to release this energy this energy of feeling loss and like kind of the five of pentacles energy you know is is not really this energy which is who you actually are this is something completely different this is an illusion you know these this kind of energy is not real it's an illusion it's something that we create with our ego it's a fear-based thought okay and if we allow this thought to grow in our experience it will grow and it'll become something real and it's going to become so real that it's going to affect our life it's going to affect our experience here on earth and everyone around us is going to notice this fear-based thought that you have because it's reflecting in your environment and it's re reflecting within you so Taurus spirits asking you to let this go because this is not your authentic self and this is not part of your contract that's for sure let's get some more guidance from spirit spirit tell me what else would you like to say to taurus about this what else would you like to say to taurus in regards to this week upcoming Ooh. <laughs> i love it when that happens oh there's two of them all right we have a plan and pure i love this card it, it kind of it just it's like a pure soul it's it just so beautiful i love this card it's just one of my favorite cards in this whole deck innocence clarity belief honesty and truth it's all about that purity and being authentic and real with yourself spirit might be reminding you who you really are okay we're all light souls we're all light beings we all come from the same place we're all light okay we're all connected we're all one spirit saying remember this is actually who you are and make plans according to this energy according to your authentic self we have creativity and equal this is telling me that the equal person that is your soulmate that is the one that you're meant to grow old with is as creative as you are it, there's someone that has the same belief system there's someone that flows with you i was watching this video uh, a few months ago and the guy was talking about how to know if you found the one if this is like your soulmate or someone that you, you're meant to share your life with and 
it's just so fantastic because I know that what he was saying was exactly what spirit wants for us and, and what our authentic self signs up for when we meet that perfect person. And that is someone that is in sync with you, that is going through similar circumstances to you at that point in time that is on the same wavelength with their beliefs and with how they're going along in their daily life. They've got someone, this someone that has a similar routine, a similar life structure to you where your lives can just melt into each other and you can sort of move on your your life path together and it flows okay flow is very important when we're living a, a conscious life okay when we're but we're trying to enlighten ourselves we're trying to reach that enlightenment and you know when you find that perfect person it's really about well it, no one is perfect you know we're all physical beings at this point in time and we've vehicles to us our soul however while we're here on earth to find that person that is ideal for our journey it is really important to look for someone who is in sync with you in sync with what you're going through in life and you somehow assist each other you are on each other's plan in each other's plan and you can see it usually there's a lot of vibes involved with this meeting as well a lot of physical energies and a lot of energies like subtle energies that you just feel around that person and it's like your hearts are just drawn to each other that is another sign all right Taurus I feel that this reading is done for today and i hope you enjoyed it if you'd like your own personal reading with me you can always reach out to me my details are in the description box below if you liked it please do click like it helps me out a lot and um, comment below i love reading each and every one of your comments as always i send you so much love peace and light bye for now